Hi, I'm Robert Mwando and you're watching Edify. In the last episode, I discussed habits in relation to discipline. I did not define habits as I reflected on this. I realized there is much more we could learn on the subject. Why not? Let's make it a habit to learn. Psychologists say habits are forming. They call this the habit loop. It normally starts with a craving, a desire. And this desire is called a cue or a trigger. Once it clicks in the mind as desirable, it is followed by a routine. Actions you do to satisfy the craving or the desire. Then comes the reward, the feel-good effect of your action. This process becomes routine and the routine becomes a habit. Most of us want to be in control of what we do, but often find ourselves doing what we do not want to do. We wish to be in control of our every action, but find that our habits are in control. Our will is overridden by what is habitual. Our habits are unconscious and determine at least 40% of our behavior. Apostle Paul in Romans chapter 7 verse 15 to 20 seems to agree. So, what do we do? Shall we be slaves to our habits forever? Is there hope? Is it even possible to break the bad habits and pick up better ones? Let's find out. Like Greek philosopher Aristotle said, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. Habits are choices that all of us deliberately make at some point, and then stop thinking about it but continue doing, often every day. An example, as, it, as children, we are taught to brush our teeth every morning. Soon, this becomes a habit that we do almost automatically. When we learn our name, it becomes almost automatic that we know our name. Kids will write their name without thinking twice about it because it has been practiced and has become a habit. Another classic one, when we cross the road, it is automatic that we look either side before crossing. Let me use this adage to illustrate. Sow a thought, reap an action. Sow an action, reap a habit. Sow a habit, reap a character. Sow a character, reap a destiny. Our character, in essence, is a combination of our habits. Stephen Covey, in his book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, defines a habit as the intersection of knowledge, skill, and desire. Knowledge being the theory, the what to do, and the why. A skill is the how to do, and desire is the trigger, the want to do. For something to become a habit in our lives, we must have all three. The world strives to churn out people of good character. People of good character are sought after in every enterprise and sphere of influence. Sadly, the habits the world is building in its people do not produce the desired character. Corruption is propagated in homes and exported to public office. People expect honesty but practice dishonesty. They want to be treated with kindness, but display unkindness daily. Most people would want to succeed at whatever cost, but most of them do nothing about their intentions. A lot of people think good intentions will attain them success. Let me burst your bubble with this mathematical equation of success. Many of us think good intentions equal success, but is it? No, 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 no. If good habits equals character, then good intentions minus good habits 
equals failure. But failure with good habits plus discipline equals success. There are four good intentions plus good habits plus discipline equals success. Our advice scriptures for reflection today are Romans 7, 15 to 20 and chapter 5 of the same book, verse 1 to 5. I will let you to read that uh, as you reflect on this episode today. God bless you.